I wanted to become a police officer from my very first memory. I grew up on a farm. We played cowboys and Indians, and uh, I always had to be uh, a cowboy sheriff. I didn't grow up with my father. He was in and out of jail. Because of his involvement with the police department, he eventually uh, became sober and turned his life around. I guess I kind of always wanted to be a little bit of a difference for somebody else the way that law enforcement was for him. One of the primary challenges was that I was a single mom when I started here. I had a son who was two and a half years old and finding a way to make sure I was taking care of my responsibilities as a single parent and then making sure I fulfilled my responsibilities as being a law enforcement officer and finding that balance to make sure I did excellent in both areas and didn't drop the ball either way. So That due to my small stature that I might physically not be able to become successful in some of the obstacles and some of the standards that are required of you. My family's doubting me, but I think they were hoping that I could be any type of doctor that I wanted. And so when I told them that I was going to be a police officer, I did not get a lot of support for that initially. Now my family is definitely supportive of what I've been doing. Just staying determined, that was the biggest challenge, is staying determined and knowing that if I put my mind to it that I could do it. I thought about it and I knew it was something that I wanted to do. I was told that this was not a career for a woman. I was told that uh, it didn't matter how hard I worked, that this wasn't the right field for me. I'm dyslexic. My parents breathed a sigh of relief when I graduated high school. And the academy was a struggle. You think you're not gonna make it through? You can make it through. I made it through. So if you have dyslexia or a uh, learning disability like that, don't let that hold you back. Because if I had let that hold me back, I would not be here today. One of the most memorable moments as a law enforcement officer was actually finding a victim, a true victim that wanted help, that needed help, that was at the worst point in their life being able to extend that hand, being able to help them, watching them turn around their life and then flourishing has been one of the more inspiring moments in my career. Officer Johnson, Officer Johnson, you came to my school and can I have a sticker? I never get tired of hearing that and just kids feeling comfortable to approach. That's, that's rewarding. One of the most rewarding moments I've experienced here was um, a case I worked in child abuse. A four-year-old was being abused by her mother's live-in boyfriend and he ended up getting 99 years in prison. So that was very rewarding for me. I was given an opportunity to be a part of this and I just have an obligation to make sure I meet or exceed the expectations that have been placed upon me. And so just being able to be a part of that and that somebody trusted me and put me in a position to do that, most rewarding. We as women bring something new to the table. We have a different personality. We handle things different than men and the public needs that. So it's just a, a different type of style. Women are strong. If it's your dream, then you need to follow it. Don't let obstacles get in the way of achieving your dream of being a police officer. Have the courage to do it because you can because you have sisters in the department that will be there to mentor you, to help guide you, and we have one of the best training academies. I say give it your best, don't give up. If there's an obstacle that you feel that it's you can't conquer, it's you can. Just put your mind and heart and soul into it and you can do it. The good thing about the police department and being a police officer is you don't have to be the biggest and you don't have to be the strongest because those aren't the only traits that a police officer has to have. I am smart and I have tenacity and now I'm at 16 years and there is absolutely zero doubt that this is what I should have done. I would say don't give up on your dreams or even if you make a mistake in life it doesn't mean that you can't recover from it. Um, I got pregnant at 19 years old, was a college dropout. I eventually, you know, just picked myself up and brushed myself off and said, okay, what are you going to do now? And um, it doesn't mean that you still can't be successful or a productive member of society or pursue your dreams or be in a position to help others just because you've made a mistake in life. Just um, learn from it and uh, move on. Go forth and do great things. 
Hi, I'm Art Acevedo, the Chief of Police in the Austin Police Department. These are my heroes, women that are committed to the safety of this great city. And if you are APD strong and want to join this team, are looking for adventure, but most importantly are looking for a great career with great rewards and the ability to make a difference, come and be APD strong. Are you APD strong?